Hello! Today we're going to be talking about uh, the classic J.D. Salander's The Catcher in the Rye. I'm going to be honest with you guys and probably piss off a lot of people. I read this in high school and I hated it. Uh, I've had to read it again for U.S. Literature class. Still not that impressed. Um, the story centers around Holden Caulfield, who is a teenager, uh, who has just been kicked out of uh, a prep academy and has to go back home to New York and kind of like his adventures. Uh, the writing style is interesting and, and it was controversial at the time for like a lot of swearing and uh, talking about sexual acts, kind of, kind of. It's really not that much that not that shocking by today's standards, but at the time was pretty risque. Um, some of the most interesting aspects of the novel are that it is like an unreliable narrator. It's a picaresque pic 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 novel, um, and that it kind of centers around these episodic events. Um, and Holden's kind of like a rogue type individual, and he doesn't really have any personal development, which is debatable. Some people do. Um, this book's pretty, re I mean, really, really, really famous. Salinger's only novel. Um, so far, there's supposedly more novels to be published within the next five years, but, uh, uh, no guarantees. Uh, I haven't heard anything on that front, so if anyone has any other information, uh, let me know. Um, this is the only Salinger I've read, and the guy seems really interesting, and I think some of his ideas are interesting. I hate Holden Caulfield, um... Every chance I get, I mention how Holden Caulfield's a whiny bitch, and I really don't enjoy him. Um, and I know that's going to offend a lot of people, because Holden is like one of the most beloved characters in literature. Um, see, it's really hard. Uh, it's a short novel. I suggest you go read it. Because it is massively important and it had a big influence on a lot of people. I personally don't enjoy the novel and I don't think it's that great. Um, I'm really interested though to read more Salinger. I have his other works that are out right now. Um, Franny and Zoe or Zooey. And then Raise High the Roof Beam, Roof Beam Carpenter and Seymour in Introduction. And then Nine Stories. Um, and I'll get to those uh, after the semester. But... I did like Catcher in the Rye a lot more as an adult than I did in high school, and part of that is just because I didn't, uh, I didn't let Holden get to me as much, and I looked at it more as just a, a work of literature, and it is. There are some really interesting things, especially actually, you know what? I started to get a lot more respect for it when I really looked at um, the novel as being told by an unreliable narrator, and how Holden is the really the biggest phony in the book um <laughs> i jokingly we had to uh answer questions about his language and i jokingly was saying that the whole novel is holden caulfield's um quest to come to terms with his own homosexuality <laughs> which of course got me a lot of weird looks <laughs> anyway my whole that's the whole thing i do think you could argue that though i think you could argue it and I'll look for quotes, but um, let's see if I can find you a good quote to read while I'm still here. Uh, I know, I know the quote I want. I know the thing I want, but I don't know where it's at. Oh, here we go. Oh, I think I'm close. Nope. Oh, uh, come on. Hold on.
Uh, man. Uh. Okay, I'm an ass. I sorry I made you sit here for that. I really was trying to find I the quote is from his teacher talking to him and he says the mark of the immature man is that he's willing to die for a cause, and the mark of a mature man is that he's willing to live humbly for one. And I thought that was very interesting. So, uh, anyway, I'll leave you with that. Sorry for all the blank space in there. Uh, as always, have a happy life and good reading.